You can get a close up look at Boulder City's bighorn sheep without having to leave your home. The city's offering a ram cam where you can see one of the most intriguing mammals of Lake Mead. Fox 5's Alexis Fernandez has the story that you'll only see here on Fox 5. On any given day, there can be dozens of bighorn sheep grazing on grass and looking for water in Hemingway Park. We opened up the park in 1985. We noticed after we put in uh, the grass, the bighorn started coming down to feed and to water. And, and so over the years, the herd has built up to a pretty good size and uh, they continue to come down off the mountain. The sheep are one of Southern Nevada's biggest native wild animals. Come down around 9, 10 o'clock in the summertime. In the wintertime, they stay up in the mountains because there's a lot of water and feed up there. But when, they, when they're hungry or when they need water, it gets hot, they come down to the park. It's become a popular tourist attraction in Boulder City. And now visitors and locals can see the wildlife thanks to the Ram Cam, a live video camera feed available at all hours. We've been working on it for two years. We said, wouldn't it be nice to have some sort of device where people can get online and just look and see if the sheep are down and save a trip from Vegas. A lot of people come in from Vegas, bring guests in to see the sheep. Hall says visitors have been asking for a camera for a long time. It's a good marketing tool for us and it's a good way to let people, you know, see the sheep and, you know, keep an eye on the park for us. And to appreciate Nevada's majestic state animal from a distance. This is not a petting zoo. These are wild animals. You can get close to them, but you can't touch them. You can't scare them. They're wild animals and just respect them for that and, you know, stay clear, take your pictures and just don't, don't touch them or don't harass them. Alexis Fernandez, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. Hall says about 100,000 people visit the park each year. The cost to put in the camera and equipment was $6,000, which came from the city's general fund.